Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Rose Mauling with Art of Lisa. I'm Lisa, and this is the wonderful art form called Rose Mauling. It's a Norwegian art form that goes back to the 1600s. Most of you have heard me say this before, but uh, I don't go back to the 1600s. Anyway, today I welcome you back to detailing our fjord horse here that was started in a video from last week and i will link that up above so that if you haven't seen it you can go back and uh, take a gander at it uh, but we're going to go ahead and detail and just to give you an example of what detailing here is you can see all your lovely stroke work here and then i've come back and added the for lack of a better term the lipstick all right we've going to add some some highlights here. We're going to bring this little horse to life. Today, what I'm doing, and uh, you know, if you, you, by the way, just because, you know, this is what YouTubers do. And apparently, since I have a YouTube channel, I'm supposed to do this. But uh, if you have a chance, if you like the video, please hit subscribe, hit like so more people see it. And, um, and thank you. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to link the, the stroke work that I did prior up above. You're going to see that. But today we're going to do the detailing. And the detailing is going to be done with this lovely little brush here. This is a, a King Art brand 9375 mid-length liner, okay? And it's a 10 knot, so or 10 slash zero. So I like a really thin liner. And we're going to use this guy. Now we're going to go ahead I pull out my wet palette. I am working in acrylics. Rose modeling by tradition is done in oils, but over the last, oh, 30, 40 years, uh, acrylics have been coming in to play uh, with rose modeling. And I switched over to acrylics, oh, back when I started having my kids, but I had painted with oils for 20 plus years before then. So you can see I have a wet palette set up here. Wet palette has a sponge underneath. This is a Masterson brand that I'm using. And you can see I have colors set out because I'm working on a few different things. And we're going to go ahead and do our detail paint with warm white. I actually have one set up over there, but I'm going to put some right over here. So this is warm white. And this is the Joe Sonia brand of acrylic paint. This is by Chroma. This is the brand I typically like to use. And I'm going to add a medium to this. And I will talk about my medium in just a second. But I'm adding medium to my warm white here. And I'm going to mix this together to make this like oh, melted ice cream here. Because I want this to flow nicely on top of my stroke work here. So I'm just going to mix that together. And just to tell you what I'm using, I use a combination of three mediums in one. I use flow medium, clear glaze medium, and retarder medium, all by Joe Sonia. Again, chroma. And I mix this in a one to one to one combination in a smaller container here. You can see, you can see this is well used and you could kind of make out flow, glaze, retarder. All right, so I mix this together and put that right down there. All right, so here is my, my um, brush here. And just, well, you can see I have some blue in there. We'll just take that blue out. Since my, my little Fjord horse doesn't have blue, it's really done in yellows and golds. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of medium into my cup here. When I load my brush, I put a little medium in first on my brush and then I pull my brush through my paint. I really do load this up basically from the tip up to the middle portion of my brush. Now I do keep little pieces of paper towel like such. They're really shop towel. So I do wipe the tip off so that I don't have a blob of paint when I get started. Well, just a little bit of things. Now, I'm going to go ahead and detail our horse, but I will say that I have videos online that talk about my detailing and give some instructions. So I'll, I'll put that up above for you guys to check that out if you want. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy started. Now, I will say I am on a stand here that's putting this on an angle. 
All right. The reason I have that is just so I don't have glare from up above. I really do paint flat on my on my um, on my uh, tabletop here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Just had to pause and come back. So let's go ahead and load my brush up here. Add some of my paint. Now, sometimes what I do is I will tip into the color, maybe some yellow here, just to help give a little bit of a blend. Now let's go ahead and get this little horse painted here. So I try to turn it so I have the best angle possible. And let's go ahead and start. Now, I don't always follow exactly the strokes underneath. I might add a little bit extra. You can see I'm adding almost like little petals. Now, rose modeling is a decorative art form that's based on flowers. They might be fantasy flowers, but they certainly do have floral aspects to it. And in rose modeling, everything works on C and S strokes. So you can see your C strokes here. And then we have an S stroke that comes off the top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. I always keep turning my piece, turning my horse here so that I can, I'm going to put that little piece of paper towel here so I can wipe the tip. You can see I have a bit of a blob on there. Well, maybe you couldn't see that I had a little bit of a blob. A little bit of a blob there. All right. Let's go ahead and give this a little bit of detailing love to this. I am using my opposite arm slash hand to help keep my painting hand up higher so I have more of a reach. I'm holding the brush up about where the number is. So I'm not holding it like a pencil all the way down at the bottom, okay? And I want to make sure and keep turning the piece, turning my horse so that I can pull my brush towards me, okay? Detailing tends to be the aspect of rose modeling that sometimes scares people more than anything else. And that's really because it's uh, a little scary because you're like, oh, what if I mess it up? Well, if you mess it up, you just, you know, wipe it away and start again. Just put a little bridle in there. How's that? So this guy gets going here. But biggest thing I can say is practice. If you go and look back at my videos that I mentioned before, and if you take a brush similar to what I have and some paper and your paint, and you just sit at night or sit when you have an opportunity and practice the strokes. The more you do something, the more muscle memory you have, the more practice, the easier it flows off your brush. Hopefully you saw that stroke there. Let's keep turning this guy a little bit here. I My two dogs upstairs are wondering, why are you in the basement? Ma, please take us out for a walk, which I will. We'll take them out shortly. Let's get this guy all painted here. So you can see I'm working my way through. I'm building up on my C's and my S's. And I'm changing the angle as I go. I'm going with a light touch. And then a little heavier touch to make it thicker. So a light touch will keep a thin stroke. And as I push down on those bristles, I can spread them apart and get a thicker stroke. 
and really pull this out, right? Get some dots in there. I do like using dots. I think it's kind of fun to pull some strokes together. They almost tie together the different strokes. Okay. You can see I will add, oh, the, I really made that bigger than it really was to start with, right? So I don't contain myself to the stroke that's underneath. I will add little curly cues or an S stroke to it to make it interesting. Okay. Can even pull some of my C's towards me. I do have a class coming up shortly that teaches detailing and I will put in the description below where to find that class. It's at uh, rosemalingclasses.com. So R-O-S-E-M-A-L-I-N-G.com. And you can find me as well as so many other wonderful Rose Malling teachers. Oh, I did that backwards. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> we'll go with that. All right. But you can find us there. You will find online classes and you will find in-person classes. One of the blessings of the last few years of craziness is Zoom classes. These, this opportunity to be able to take a decorative art form, a, a folk art that people want to learn, but may not have teachers that are nearby or you might be in a part of the country or the world that doesn't have an opportunity to have somebody come in person well isn't it wonderful that you can go on and take a zoom class and that person comes to your living room or your kitchen right and you can talk to different people i did a class last night here in the states and we literally went from maine to california North Dakota, or actually South Dakota, down to Texas. You know, how cool is that, that you can reach people all around the country? I've had people in my class from Singapore and India and Brazil, Canada. I feel very blessed and very fortunate to be able to share an art form that I had the great fortune and blessing to start early in my life. So when you have an opportunity and you have a skill that you can share, well, that's what you need to do. Art forms, language, music, all of those different things. The only way things continue is if they get passed on, they get shared. So it's really a very important aspect in life to be able to do this. So, you know, that having that Zoom, having YouTube certainly has helped to keep these art forms going. Let's get an eye in there. All right. He's really coming along. Well, as you can see, the detailing really keeps this guy or pulls together all of these strokes. Now, I'm finished with this side, but if you are doing this at home with me, then what I would suggest you do is if you have a copy machine, copy this on your copy machine so that you get the opposite so you get an image of this so you can paint the opposite side so you can match it now i've also on other horses here's my little red guy here here's a fellow done on carbon black so similar but i'm going to go ahead and turn him over and you could see well there he is without his detailing but it's about the same as we did over here Okay, 
And then I've also painted his back. So I will go ahead and detail this guy as well. Just a lot of fun and get these out. I have uh, somebody who's waiting to see these very shortly. Anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me once again for uh, some time in my studio. I hope you enjoyed this detailing. Please remember it's just paint. God is good. And I wish all the best to everyone out there. I'll have a new video up again soon. Take care. Bye, everybody.